Hey, everybody. Hi. Uh, welcome to a very somber edition of Tomorrow's Headlines today. Um, this is one of those ones where we don't want to be right, and we don't want to come on here and do a prophecy fulfilled. But nevertheless, we kind of have to. Not to do the prophecy fulfilled, but it's time to pray. So let's roll the intro, and we'll jump into it. Okay, so um, I'm just going to roll all the information at the bottom if you want to partner with us in any way, shape, or form. It's all right there. So um, you can see that, but I'm not going to say anything else other than that because this is not why we're here. No. It's never why we're here. Why are we here, Brandy? <laughs> Do you want the long version or the short version? Short version. It's yeah, late. Yeah, I knew the answer. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for jumping on late tonight. We felt it very appropriate to get on and do a video. We just got the boys to bed. We were out of town, but we kind of came home as quickly as possible to do a video. Um, so it's really important to us to, as leaders in the community, to kind of debrief you on what God is saying about what's going on. And we did a video yesterday urging everyone to pray. And there's a lot of people that are waking up today. You know, yesterday we talked about everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Um, and we said to pray and we've had words since 2020 really about Iran and Israel. And so let it not be shocking to you that we're seeing this happen right now. I mean, really, I want to help take everyone listening down from being, a, being, um, in fight or flight or being scared or confused and all the things that you're feeling and just bring some clarity to the situation so that you can be empowered to know how God would want us to move forward during this time. I had some very clear words today and I'm excited to share those, but I really want to hear what you have to say first. Well, uh, yesterday while we were praying, I specifically said, before we had even started our video, I had said, I felt like it's time that we can't pray this away this time. Like, there's nothing that we can do about it. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But we did pray. We've been praying since 2020. I released a word June 27th, 2020, that um, the Ayatollah would raise up troops, that he was secretly raising up troops and making, uh, doing all this stuff. And at different times, we had prophesied and said Israel will take back their original scriptural lands as uh, they will go to war with Iraq, Iran, uh, Libya, Syria, etc. And so right now, basically all of those nations are in league with Iran because Iran is using those nations to attack Israel right now. And we had just prayed yesterday that if there was any way that we could stop it, that, that it would be stopped. But yeah, but we can continue to pray. I mean, I don't agree with there's nothing that we can do. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So definitely this is the time for this to happen. It's exactly the time. And I'll explain a little bit more about that whenever Robin's um, ready for me to. But it's definitely the time for us to go to war. Yeah. I mean, go to war spiritually is what I meant by that. Spiritually. Yeah. We don't want yeah. if we can avoid America getting involved, we, we could. But I mean, Russia already said. If you do anything, we're going to have no choice but to defend Iran, which is, <laughs> if Trump were in office, he'd say, go ahead, I dare you. <laughs> yeah. He actually did say that in Pennsylvania. That's one of the things he said. This would never have happened if I was in office. Yep, that's that's right. what he says every time. Yep. Um, so about 1030 today, 11 o'clock um, this morning, I started declaring out of my mouth we declare war <laughs> and then i looked at robin about 10 minutes later and i was like oh god is saying it's time to declare war and a lot of you saw our facebook posts and our messages or whatever um but the time is now we were made for such a time as this so yes it is scary it is vulnerable. There are unknowns. But let me tell you what I do know. Are you ready for me to just kind of talk a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Um, I heard the Lord saying to say, we declare war. Um, and then I, I heard him saying, 
And it's because he's declaring war on all things that are unholy. So I just want you to know right now, this is Israel and Iran as a manifestation of this. But everywhere, God is declaring war on things that are unholy. So we're going to see um, major changes coming and major um, different arenas for people being held accountable for leading people into unholy things. So keep your eyes out for that. And then one of the things that um, I was praying was we loose new weapons to be sent forth that have not been used or not been known before. Um, we are thankful to go to war in a new way is what we, we tell the Lord. Every generation is joining in this cry that we're thankful to go to war in a new way. We were prepared for such a time as this. And by thankful, I mean, God has prepared us for such a time as this. There comes a time in your training where you have to be sent out and it's time to be sent out. Okay. Um, I see the darkness is turning. I'm speaking that and I want you to see that. I see the darkness is turning. I see the darkness is turning. Stand back and watch as God gives us the direction for our flames to go. To purify what he would have us purify. We'll be the flame and he can be the torch as Fire Song by G.O.Z. God is coming down on all things unholy. We go before the Lord to make a way. We want the Lord to have his way. So um, on all things unholy, I just, you know, a lot of us um, prophetic people have talked about the solar eclipse and everyone else has too, because it was a big thing. You know, what it's cool about it was that it got everyone looking up at the same time, which just was beautiful to me. Um, and what I heard the Lord say and what I felt in that moment, we had a total eclipse here for almost three minutes. We were in the total eclipse path. It was pretty cool. Was he's sovereign. Don't forget that he can shut out the light. He can. He can. He's in control of the darkness. But of. He's in control of making their light. So that the darkness can turn back into light. He's in charge of all these things and we can trust him that he is bringing light into situations. You know, when it was totally eclipsed, there was still light. And I just think that was so cool that even the darkness of the total eclipse could not push out all the light of the sun. And so I just want to encourage you right now that the timing is in God's hands and God is sovereign and God is just, and he is not a man that he should be mocked. So I want you to know right now, God is declaring, it's funny, I heard him say, it's not funny, but I mean. Interesting. Yeah, I heard him say, they want to declare their holy war. He said, but I'm declaring mine first. God is declaring a holy war right now on all things unholy. And I think that everyone that is fighting for not holiness, for unrighteousness, should very much watch out in this season. Um, this is not a joke. This is what the Lord is doing right now. It is time for unrighteousness to fall in every aspect. And we pray mercy on them. And we pray the mercy of the Lord. But here's what the Lord showed me. He said, having war... Or these battles that are going on right now in our generation is mercy for the next generation to get them out of the way, to get the confrontation done, to get the things dealt with. So we, as the body of Christ, it's our job to prepare the way of the Lord. So we do that how? We do that in worship. We do that in prayer. I see everyone just getting their friends together, small gatherings everywhere, just praying and declaring the will of the Lord, the word of the Lord. And I'm not talking about a sobbing session. This is not time for that. Okay. There is time for grieving. But what I'm saying is it's time to war. Get out your tambourines, get out your flags, dance like you've never danced before. Worship in a way that you've never worshiped before, because that's what's going to unlock 
the new weapons of warfare to go where they need to go so that God can do what he's trying to do. He said, um, we're taking ground as the body of Christ that we don't know we're taking. We're taking ground right now that we can't even see, but we can praise God and worship him for taking this ground for us. And that's where our heart's going to be. We're going to remain in a humble place of yes, persistent prayer. Yes, mercy. Yes, forgiveness. Yes, protection. Yes, deliverer. But he says, I can't be your deliverer if you won't trust me to make decisions for you. Imagine that. So in this time, it's really important that we stand up. We say we will make war on everything unholy. We join in the fight. We are equipped. We were prepared for such a time as this. Draw a line in the sand. It's time for you to draw a line where the enemy cannot come in your life, where he cannot come against God's people, where he cannot come against Jerusalem. It's time for us to draw a line in the sand because if we don't, the enemy will continue to encroach upon that. But remember, he is going to disintegrate the plans of the enemy some before they even happen during this time. We are to bless his holy name. Um, Let's see. I put more about worship. Let our praises rise. There's a song called Let Our Praises Rise. And that was just going through my head. Like a weapon in his hand. Let our praises rise. Oh God. So I encourage you to get with two or three people. And just worship and pray like never before in your homes during this time. I have more, but I think you wanted to. Nope, keep going. Okay. Um, so the other day, we were, yesterday, I guess, we were talking about reconciliation. Um, so I just want to encourage you to reach out again to people who you love um, or that you don't love, that you have had issues with in the past regarding unforgiveness, and just reach out to them. Anything I've said or done to offend you. Anything that I've done to hurt you or dishonor you, please forgive me. If there can be reconciliation and restoration, that would be awesome during this time. But if not, you have to move forward. You have to let the relationship go according to God's plan and you have to seek him for that. But then you have to move forward knowing that you will be the one crying out in the desert during this time. I texted one of my friends and I said, look, you have been called to awaken those around you. If anyone says, man, I'm in disbelief. I'm in shock right now. I'm in awe of what's going on. Tell them, let me tell you what God's been saying about this. Go in, be a voice of comfort. Tell them what the, um, you know, what the Bible says, what God's been telling you, what the reputable, reputable prophets say, excuse me, and just comfort them and say, look, if you know how to hear the voice of God, you won't be shocked by any of this because he tells his prophets first what's going to happen. Every person around you needs to be a awakened or they will be shaken. This is a guarantee during this time. So pray for those that you love. Pray for your friends and family. Pray for our nation. Pray for Israel. Pray for the world that we will... Awaken to the voice of God before something bad needs to happen. When we were in the car again, I think it was like maybe 1030 or 11 when I was um, accidentally declaring we declare war. Um, just the Holy Spirit coming out of me, which I, I later recognized. Um, and I just kept seeing bombs. I heard alarms going off. I kept hearing people scream for their lives. And um, the the Lord said... If you will ask me, I will be faithful to you. But so many people assume what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it instead of coming to me. But if we will ask in his name, if we will humble ourselves, we will repent from our wicked ways. We will pray in his way, in his name and learn his ways. He will save our our land. He will save us, our families, our friends. He will deliver us from evil. But we need to get on our knees, seek his face like never before. If you don't know how to hear the voice of God, just simply say, I know how to hear the voice of God in Jesus name. He is my shepherd. I am his sheep and I hear him and I follow him. My sheep hear my voice and they hear they know who I am. It is the lie of the enemy and it's time that you break that off of yourself. 
So I just shatter the lie of the enemy right now for anyone listening or watching that you can't hear the word of the Lord. And I declare you can and you will and you will speak into these situations. We will watch them change. God has the upper hand on the battle going on right now in Israel. No matter what it looks like, God told me, he said, you want to declare war? He said, I'm declaring war first. And the Lord goes before us. He is our banner. And we take our weapons of praise up to heaven because you know what it says when the Lord is, it says the Lord is exalted and enthroned on the praises of his people. What does, what does a king do when he's on his throne? Reigns. He reigns and he rules, which means he can bring justice in those situations, but he's going to do it when he's enthroned on the praises of his people. So we just enthrone you right now, God. We recognize what an awesome God you are. What a beautiful God you are. What a strong God you are. What a all powerful and all knowing God you are, what a provider you are, what a deliverer you are, what a protector you are. And just the God who sees El Roy, you see everything that's going on right now from Israel to all of the nations of the world to our personal lives and our homes tonight. You see what's going on and we thank you that you are not a God that you would be mocked, that you are faithful and just and you stick to your words no matter what, that Israel is completely protected. I just have like this crazy supernatural peace that surpasses understanding, but people get ready. The other word I heard was... um part of a song it's just how god talks to me but it says there are people walking around with their fingers in their ears singing la da 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 i don't want to hear the sound of the coming king and there are people walking around with their fingers in their ears singing la da 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 i don't want to hear the sound of the coming king and then it goes on to say i was silent like a lamb but in my silence you thought that i was all together like you I held my peace for a long, 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 long time. But now he's coming up. He's roaring like a lion. We're going to join him in forces, knowing that we are equipped with every good thing that we need to accomplish that God has put in front of us to accomplish. Keeping in mind that this war is actually in the battles that are going on, right? That's kind of what's going on right now, is that it has to happen now. It has to be confronted. So all of the demonic strongholds that are in place can be torn down. Trust God with his methods. Your ways are not his ways. My ways are not his ways. So we just trust you with your timing and your perfect plan and nothing else will happen in Jesus name. I just see him going and demolishing attacks before they even happen. Um, and I just declare that um, these battles are over quickly and that Israel progresses and victory very quickly in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Let me share a couple things with you from our the things that I have stored on my phone uh, from prophetic words that I've given in the past. This is December 6, 2023. I, when we did our headlines, I was praying, and I felt like the Lord was saying that America was about to declare, declare war with Iran. All right, that was December. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Keep going. Uh, this is from, let's scroll up here, October 9th, 2023, the day after, um, October 8th in Israel, right? Pray for peace in Israel. Pray for the safety of the prisoners. I heard while I was praying that Israel would declare war with, I with Iran and that this would expose a very real nuclear threat. So there's something we need to pray about. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing these up. So maybe now y'all will take this very seriously and start to pray and intercede. The 55, 56. It's actually over 100 people watching right now between Rumble and YouTube, okay? Uh, let's see. Major arms deal busted in Iran. Uh, nuclear arms discovered in Iran. 10-7-22. Uh, let's see what this one says. A revolution will come to Iran. This will be a critical moment where the Lord's people begin to pray a reform into the nation in which a great Christian movement will be birthed. I also saw a mass exodus out of Iran as it seemed like a war ripped through the land. Greece and Turkey would be, would be pressed to know how to respond in the increase in refugees as the exodus crosses nations. So that was out of Iran. 8-11-2022. 
uh, Iran will openly admit that they have low-yield nuclear weapons. This is not to terrify you. This is to, to again, for you to pray and shut it down yeah, and have, now. To take out the shock factor of what's going on. I mean, God's been talking to us about this. All of, I mean, not just Robin and Brandy, several people in the body of Christ for a long time now. This is not new, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is from June 24th, 2022. Hold on one second. This was on my birthday. I was praying and prophesying on my birthday. Um, it's also the same year that the same day that Joseph had the feeding tube taken out of his nose. I, and I was still praying and praising God, right? I re Again, this is 624.22. And this is going to confirm what you just said also. Iran believes they have an advantage over Israel because they have been s they have secretly created a few nuclear bombs and have distributed some nuclear material to make dirty bombs. Israel will be protected and supernatural intervention will be seen worldwide even though some will refuse to believe it. The truth is, God has already planned to blow up their perfectly functioning bombs over their land without allowing them to enter Israel. The whole nation will cry out, "Surely the Lord has fought for us." It will be a great time of joy as the house of Jacob worships God with a pure heart. Here's one. It's a good one. Well, this is probably something um, that's coming in the future. But the next thing I wrote, which just kind of caught my attention here, is turbulent times are coming to Israel within the next year. Trump will vow to support Israel in an even greater measure in his second term. Israel will take back all of the land, which is its rightful inheritance. In the midst of this turmoil, Netanyahu has been assigned to rebuild the temple for the final age. After the temple is rebuilt, there will be an invasion of sorts to try to destroy the temple. Uh, let's see. Watch, I, this is, um, I'll go back and look at this. Watch Iran, they will begin to threaten America and Israel, thinking they can get away with their attacks. They will cause judgment to come on the Ayatollah, and much like Herod Agrippa was consumed with, word, with worms, so too the Ayatollah shall she, see his health consumed. That was uh, 3 9 2022. Uh, let's see. Tensions are coming between Israel and Iran in the coming days. Pray for their peace and safety. That was 4 1 21. Uh, that was 3 17 21. And then the last one, this is from June 7th of 2020. Iran has already be begun preparing soldiers and preparing for battle. The Ayatollah has has planned to start attempting to provoke the United States to fight. He will try to spark hatred and distrust in his nation, and for all his wrath and malice, he shall come to nothing. A once proud and haughty country will be humbled by God. That was 6-7-2020. So we know how it's going to end. We know what we're going to see in between. Uh, and well, we have a pretty good idea of how to pray because we literally have four years of prophetic words about this time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you for sharing those. It's always good just to remember and keep on praying and keep on praying. And that's why we have our blog that shows some prophecy fulfilled, but it also shows what we need to continue to pray into, because to me, that's more important than a prophecy fulfilled. Um, Get that water real quick. So I'm just going to declare this to Iran from the God, Jesus and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Israel Get behind me. I'm coming through. I'm armed and dangerous. I'm like an army that's fed up with you. Commanding you must get out of my way and go back to where you came from. Go. I'm telling you no more. I'm sick and tired of all the lies. Nothing you say could make me agree with you. I know the truth. Nothing you do could break me. You just don't know who you're messing with. I'm God, the warrior. Go, I'm telling you no more. The weapons of my warfare, they are not carnal. I'm taking back everything at least seven times. I will raise my sword and make you wish you never even tried. I'm telling you no more. The victory is mine. I'm taking back everything at least seven times. I'll raise my sword and make you wish you never even tried. I'm telling you, no 
more. And I just declare this as a member of the body of Christ for the body of Christ that is fighting all of these battles that come up, the natural disasters that come up, the sh mass shootings that have been happening, all the things going on right now. I'm not afraid because I'm not alone. So be on your way, Satan. There's nothing here for you. The battle's already won. You're not worth my time. We're not messing with you anymore. We crush you on the floor. You haven't done anything but make us better warriors. We're telling you no more. So earlier I said draw a line in the sand. So I'm showing you how to do that. We're saying no more are you going to do these things to us in the body of Christ. In Jesus name. Thank you, Lord, that you're taking back everything at least seven times. And I just ask that you would awaken us in the middle of the night, awaken us in the middle of the morning, the afternoon, the evening, any time that you need us to pray and come together um, with friends or family or even just with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to pray. Awaken our spirits. We say, we're here for you, God. We're here to serve you. We we honor you as a master. We tell you that you can reign and rule in our lives and we look to you for everything that we have to say. But I'm going to end the video this way. I will not trust in chariots and horses, <laughs> but I will trust in the Lord God who was our deliverer, who delivered e Israel out of Egypt, who will now deliver Israel out of the hands of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love praying with you. I love warring with you. And I would love to hear what God is saying to you about the times right now. Amen. Amen. Like, Bye. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family so that we can actually get people to pray with us and believe with us. All right. Love you guys. Be blessed. We'll see you again probably sooner than later. Yeah. Good night.